Art Bar is designed as a place to enjoy food, friends, and enjoy a nice glass of wine and some good company. Our menu, as far as price, as far as how much service you'd, you'd like to have, um, we wanted to have a nice variety of different, different items on there. We have things that other places around here don't like, like a nice local lamb chop, a well-prepared duck, nice made cooked to temperature duck breast, some fresh seafood options that we get from Coastal Seafoods out of Minneapolis. Uh, we're pretty well known for our scallops. We have some really nice scallops. We sear them in a cast iron pan, get a nice caramelization on them, um, and we finish them with a citrus blanc, which is a white wine butter sauce. We offer everything from sandwiches to salads to pastas, uh, up to, if you'd like, you can have a filet. Items like grilled wild-caught sockeye salmon, Massachusetts Daybo scallops. My name is Sharon Herman, and I'm the co-owner of Bistro 63. My son, Gino, is the executive chef, and I'm thrilled and happy to be doing this. We've done it for the last five years. We offer food here at Bistro that you cannot get anywhere else in northern Wisconsin. It is exquisite food. It, everything is made from scratch. The specials are wonderful, and the daily menu is terrific. When people stop here once, they always come back again, and I'm very proud of that. The wine dinner that is going to be described to you is, is course after course, one was better than the other. And um, I'm very proud of our restaurant. This is, this is not bar food, and this is not food that you get up in this part of the country. So come in and try, try us out, and, and see what you think. Once you eat at the bistro, you will always come back. We have a fresh grilled Hawaiian pink snapper with lime-scented jasmine rice and topped with a grilled pineapple salsa, a very fresh seafood offering. Wild grilled sockeye salmon, topped with garlic olive oil, green olives and tomatoes, always a favorite. Slow roasted, herb drubbed prime rib, also served with our classic potato gratin. Slow cooked and topped with cheese in the traditional French recipe. Fruity de mar, fruits of the sea, a mixture of succulent mussels, Massachusetts day boat scallops, shrimp, and a bit of calamari. Here we have a chicken piccata, our tender classic Italian chicken dish. A floured and seared chicken breast in a wonderful pan sauce made from garlic, white wine, and fresh squeezed lemon, finished with butter and parsley. Next is our rigatoni calabrese, a classic Italian dish from Calabria, finished with fried peppers and Louis sausage in our own special marinara. If you're in the mood for a lighter fare, why not enjoy a bistro burger, a delicious half-pound ground steak patty with your choice of toppings. Here we have our Tuscan bread salad, a classic Italian dish, with our homemade focaccia, cucumber, onion, and a light red wine vinaigrette. Every Friday night we offer our deep-fried or baked cod. Another seafood option, our deep-fried giant shrimp and our own homemade beer batter or seared with white wine, butter, and herbs. Next, a whiskey glazed pork chop, grilled to perfection, topped with our wonderful homemade glaze. And always a favorite, our baby back ribs are dry rubbed with brown sugar and rum, then slow cooked for six to seven hours until they fall right off the bone. And then we add our special Bistro 63 barbecue sauce. Our naoki dish, a classic Italian creation of potato dumplings, cooked tender with gorgonzola cheese, spinach, bacon, and caramelized onions. Our prime rib sandwich, topped with a rosemary scallion cheese and served with our unique horseradish sauce, and au jus. For dessert, we have a chocolate chip sundae, always a staple on our menu, topped with our homemade whiskey caramel sauce and finished with vanilla bean ice cream and a dark chocolate ganache. Another choice for dessert is our homemade melon sorbet sampler with cantaloupe, watermelon, and honeydew sorbets. And another of our featured desserts, a raspberry creme brulee, topped with a caramelized sugar crust. Growing up in the restaurant business in, in, in Cumberland, my father had a restaurant the whole time I grew up in Cumberland. He taught us uh, good techniques. He taught us good, wholesome cooking with fresh products. And I think Gino has carried on that tradition, so I'm, I'm real happy about that.